Hello guys, my name is Gavin, and this will be a tutorial on how to have your camera follow your player from a certain distance and a certain height, or kind of like some of the older school third-person shooter kind of games. Um, and I will be using some... Oh, actually, I won't be using Python in this one. All right, now I'm just going to get started. To start off, I'm just going to hit this light and hit X delete. And I'm going to hit this camera and hit X delete. Let's then go from defaults to game logic and go from Blender Render to Blender Game. And what we're going to do first is actually I'm going to rename this to Player. But we're going to set up some simple character controls for our player to kind of replicate, um, you know, our player moving around and the camera following it. So let's add four keyboard sensors. Three and four. This first one will be W key like this. And for the key, I'll put W and minimize it. This next one will be S key or backwards. I'll put S in here and minimize it. This one will be A key or left. I'll put A in here and minimize it. And this will be D key or right, and I'll put D in here and I'll minimize this. Then since we have four controls, let's add four motion actuators. Two, three, four. This first will be forward, like this. And on the positive Y axis, I'll put 0 0.2, that, and I'll minimize this. Then I'll have backward. Put negative 0 0.2, minimize this, and I'll have left, I'll have negative 0 0.2 on the x-axis, minimize this, and right will be positive 0 0.2 on the y-axis. Okay, connect these like this, so drag it across, or add an AND actuator in the middle. So, like that. All right, and we should see that if we hit P to play, we can move our cube around like this. All right. Now that we have that, I'm just going to add a simple, um, some physics to our character. So click on the physics tab, and then change it from static to character and click actor. Then click on the materials tab. Now I'm going to add a blue coloring. And since our character now falls because of gravity, let's add a plane for him to stand on. So space bar and then add a plane. Drag this down and hit S, and I'll do 10. Actually, S2. So we should see there's a plane from the walk around on. I'm going to right click on the plane, add a new material. This material will be turquoise or something like that. And that's good. All right. Because we want this camera to actually follow our player around, hit the one key to go in the front view and do spacebar and then add a camera. This. We've added the camera into our game. And what we're going to do is add an always sensor in our camera. And let's go over to the actuators and add a camera actuator. The camera object will be player. The track axis will be positive Y. And we want the camera to be about 20 over the, over, um, over the, um, the player object. Then let's have 15 for the minimum and let's put 30 for the maximum. If we hit zero now, we can see if we hit play. Actually, we didn't connect these, sorry. Connect your camera script to your always sensor. Hit play. And you see that we can actually follow the cube around like this. And if we, we can actually see that the camera is moving around just a little bit. So you can see the camera is kind of rotating towards the player like this. All right, guys, so that's how you kind of do a simple third-person camera in Blender. Um, you can obviously fiddle with these a little bit, but... You know, I'll actually change these numbers just a little bit closer. Let's have the height is 10. The minimum will be, let's say, 5. And the maximum will be 15. Hit play now, you see we're a lot closer. But the camera's following the player like this. Oops, he fell off the map. Alright. Alright guys, I hope you guys found this useful.